Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hiker MD channel. One of the things that I love most in life is a good cup of coffee. We do a lot of coffee videos over the years. We've had, I don't know how many are on my coffee in the woods playlist. It's not really in the woods anymore. It started out that way, but I don't know how many videos are on there. Probably over 50. I don't know. Quite a few. And I love a good cup of coffee. I also like to find new ways to make a cup of coffee. Recently, I was doing what I do a lot, just kind of surfing Amazon and seeing what they got. And I saw this Vietnamese coffee maker from the company Fire Maple. I've done a lot of reviews on Fire Maple stuff before. I've never seen Vietnamese coffee. I like coffee. I thought, I need to pick one of these up. And that's just what I did. So stay tuned. Let's make some Vietnamese coffee. Now, Vietnamese coffee is made with a very specific style, usually with a very specific type of filter, which is what I picked up. Took a little bit of time for me to figure that all out. I did some research. I'd never heard of Vietnamese coffee. Turns out, I really like Vietnamese coffee. Traditionally, you take a glass, you put some sweetened condensed milk at the bottom, you brew the coffee right on top. It all sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Let me show you guys this product, and then we're gonna make some coffee, because it's gonna be good. So this is the Orca Vietnamese coffee filter from Fire Maple. Pretty cool little product. I've used it four or five times now. And dimensions are five by four by three. Weight is 5.8 ounces. Made out of stainless steel and aluminum. Capacity is one cup inside, okay? Made in China, cost is $21.95. Now, now, it's designed to sit on top of a glass. Let me get a glass and I'll show you guys. I don't really have a glass, it's kind of the classic one, but you can see here, that's kind of how it's supposed to work. You'll put the evaporated milk at the bottom and then you brew the coffee right into it. We'll probably use this today, although it's not gonna be perfect. Inside there are two filters and what you wanna do is unscrew one of them like that and I'll show you guys the technique for doing it here in just a little bit, but you put your ground coffee in there, put this on top, and it slowly kind of weights it down, and you create your coffee that way. The technique is to put your evaporated milk on the bottom of the glass. It sits at the bottom, okay? Then you're going to brew your coffee straight on top, and you'll see kind of a layer. the white layer, and then the coffee layer on top of that. You put the coffee on top, and then you top that with the second filter, like I said. You splash it with a little bit of water to bloom it, hot water, um, almost boiling water. Give it just about 30 seconds, then you wanna fill it to the top, put this on top, and go ahead and just let it brew. And that's gonna create a really nice cup of coffee. Then you'll mix it with the cream at the bottom. Uh, in this case, it's basically evaporated milk. I'll show you guys what that product is that I use. In fact, let me grab it real quick and I'll show you what I use. You can just use regular evaporated milk, but it's kind of nice uh, and overpriced in these little bitty uh, sleeves. Got this on Amazon, copper cow coffee, milk and sugar latte creamer. This is basically sweetened condensed milk, okay? Basically is what it is. Put this at the bottom, makes a great little cup of coffee. So let's go ahead and make some coffee and show you guys what this thing is all about and then we will talk about this product and what I think about not only the product, but about Vietnamese coffee.
So what do you guys think about this product? I mean, it does what it's supposed to do. It is very specific for this Vietnamese type of coffee. And I really like the coffee. It's super strong, the way that it's made. The sweetness from the condensed milk is pretty awesome. Overall, if you've never tried it, give it a try. There are always pros and cons as far as pros go. It's a good design. As far as I can tell, it looks very much like other Vietnamese coffee filters that I see. It's got a decent price. The quality seems very good. I will say the quality seems very good. So those are all kind of the good sides, but there's always bad sides to any product. We'll talk about cons as well. By nature, it doesn't fold down. I mean, there's really, I don't think, a way to make a Vietnamese, I mean, there's probably a way to do anything, but not an easy way to make a Vietnamese coffee filter that will fold down. It also is just a, a pain to clean. I mean, it is, you get coffee grinds everywhere. That's the biggest pain in the rear, but at the same time, you make a good cup of coffee. So it's kind of worth it, but it's not, it is a con. It's not easy to fill out because you have both those filters. You got basically two things to clean out instead of one. Before I saw this product, I'd never heard of Vietnamese coffee. I'd never had Vietnamese coffee. And I'm glad that I was just surfing and I found it because I really like it. Who doesn't like sweet condensed milk? I mean, I remember as a kid kind of just eating it straight out of the little Eagle brand tin. Are you with me? Put that in some coffee. Hello. Good stuff. Over time, to be honest with y'all, and y'all have seen it over the years here, I rarely use sweetener. I used to use like sweet and low or splenda and i do every once in a while but i've gotten to the point where i really like just coffee with heavy cream coffee and cream if it's half and half that's fine but i like that flavor of the bitter side of coffee and these days when i put sweetener i tend to put actual sweetener like real sweetener instead of artificial sweetener so this milk product or sweetened condensed milk works great for me super sweet milk dark rich coffee i mean what is not to like as i mentioned earlier i have an entire playlist on coffee in the woods it could be coffee anywhere it's just about our love for coffee i got lots of coffee products and i'll continue to do coffee products because i like doing them they aren't always the most well received you guys don't like to watch them but i enjoy a cup of coffee there you go i know a lot of you guys are not subscribed if you're here checking out Vietnamese coffee, you never heard of it, you wanted to try it out, this is how you make it. Stay, stay for more videos. I got all kinds of stuff. Hit that subscription button down below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, but the biggest thing I'll ask you for is to hit the subscription button. It really helps the channel out a lot when you can subscribe. So do that for me if you don't mind. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. I say it on every video, but I do this YouTube stuff for fun. It takes a lot of time, effort. Sometimes it takes a lot of money. And I don't make a lot of money on YouTube, so I'm here just having fun. It's kind of my, it's kind of my way to have fun and relax and do something that's just mine. So I appreciate you guys hanging out. As always, guys, I appreciate you checking out the Paleo Hiker MD channel. Stay tuned for more videos soon.